what your expectations from this conference is, what you want to see as the outcome of, the, of this whole conversation. Uh, the world is uh, changing, uh, it is becoming more fragile and climate change is driving more frequent, more devastating disasters. We have to build resilient societies and this conference taking place in, a, in Sendai that was four years ago, devastated, is the platform to take us toward making resilience a cornerstone of development mm -hmm. in countries rich and poor. What, what, what exactly do you think you're picking from here <coughs> as a message to the people in the <coughs> EU? That uh, we have a responsibility for the future of our children and only together we can fulfill this uh, obligation. Only building solidarity among nations in a way that helps us to be stronger, we have to think of the unthinkable, the kinds of events that we face. Like right now, Vanuatu being hit by a category five cyclone. They are going to be present more often in the days ahead. We in Europe, have been very generous. We are 20% of the world economy, 50% of development assistance. But our investment in development can be wiped out in, a, in, in minutes by an earthquake or by a dev devastating hurricane. To make this investment worldwide, we have to put in a lot of attention to the disaster risks we all face. We have to understand these risks much better than we used to. We have to prepare communities, countries to face these risks. And we have to work together as, as, as world community to withstand the challenges to come. It is a positive message, one of belief in the capacity of the world to come together when this is so important uh, to do, when climate change is forcing us to do it.